Fragments of plastic are being discovered in human organs and arteries in the form of very small particles, referred to as micro and nanoplastics. Microplastics are less than five millimeters. That's about the size of a grain of rice. Nanoplastics, even smaller, measuring less than a micron. Pieces we can't even see with the naked eye. Regardless of the size, one study found that we could be consuming roughly a credit card size worth of plastics in just a week. Here's the problem. Those plastics have now been linked to heart attacks, strokes, and even early death. So you may be wondering, how is all that plastic getting into my body? Well, some of it might be obvious. It could be in the water you're drinking. The water in liter-sized single-use bottles made of plastic can contain nearly a quarter of a million pieces of nanoplastic, on average, according to one study. It could be in the food we eat. Even granules of salt can pick up plastic pollutants from the lakes and seas where it is mined. Another study found a cup of tea brewed from a certain type of bag contained billions of plastic particles. Plastic particles could even be swirling around in the air we breathe. And imagine this, car tires, they contain a lot of plastic. So when they start to deteriorate, that dust actually sends a lot of those particles into the atmosphere, and those too can enter our lungs. These are still early days in our understanding of microplastics, and these studies are preliminary. Research is still being conducted to determine the true toll plastics can take on the human body. So what can you do to reduce your exposure? Here are five simple ways. First, it's probably time to stop using bottled water and get yourself a reusable one. You should also avoid microwaving plastic food containers and reheat your takeout on the stove instead. Tea drinkers, switch to loose leaf and try a metal steeper. Replace your toothbrush often. Plastic bristles can break off the more you use it. Finally, to lower the debris from your tires, make sure they are maintained at the proper pressure, which mine are. And keep in mind, even driving more slowly and safely and more efficiently, that can also slow the wear and tear on your tires and help reduce emissions.